Yo, what's going on guys? And today I wanted to talk about Kofi Cockburn. I made a video about him last year when he originally entered the draft and then he pulled out at the last minute because there's going to be a second round pick. And I'm sorry to hate to break it to you guys, unless he becomes similar. Like, so Dayron Sharp, I thought was going to be a second round, like an early second round pick, which is where Kofi Cockburn will go right now, just because centers are undervalued in the NBA. I feel like in a few years, they'll be more valued as the younger guys come in with different skill sets. But Kofi Cochran could slip into the first round, similar to Oscar Shuiye, which teams in the late first will draft big men that many analysts and YouTubers will say will be second round picks. I just go off of my research and from what I see, and this is, I personally think guys like Kofi Cochran and Oscar Shuibe will go, might slip into the first for how we saw Dayron Sharp, and we saw a bunch of like Jericho Sims, a bunch of guys who had really good combines and really good tournaments performances, who are just really good rebounders, rim protectors, and people say old school big bands. These guys still have values, and teams who want to get a cheap guy on a four year deal sometimes will do that and trade up. We saw see it all the way to Yudoka Azambuki. Another example, Utah Jazz. So, if you guys don't know Kofi Cochran, seven foot, seven foot six wingspan. He's a junior, and he's about three hundred pounds. Okay, basically built like the perfect offensive lineman. Okay, if somebody saw him, they'd be like, "Hell yeah!" But at the same time, this guy in nineteen eighty would have been a first round pick. Okay, maybe even the first pick of the draft. Um, in his second season, honestly, he was looking like. He could, you know, be a first-round pick at times. And was just talking about a guy that really is phenomenal inside. It was just he needed a three-point shot. And we know that's never going to really happen. And one thing is he has slimmed down over the years, and he looks quicker and more explosive. And he's just going to be a guy who's going to protect the rim. He's going to be productive and effective post player and who goes hard at the rim. And he's going to have fun doing it. And that's the thing about him. He does a great job of just – rebounding and being there and someone put down that he could be like a poor man wider steven adams so i think a late first round to mid second round pick is an ideal spot to him so let me hear your thoughts down below guys